Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Samuel Benga Ditunji. I'd like to discuss briefly the challenges faced by cleft lip and palate population in Nigeria. Cleft lip and palate population, like we know, face various challenges. I'd like to just discuss a few of them. The first, which I'd like to talk about is low level of awareness of the treatment option that is available, low level of awareness of preventive um, measures that can be put in place uh, to prevent the recurrence of this. Uh, in my little years of practice, I have noted that uh, a number of this cleft lip and palate population uh, comes with history that's suggestive of exposure to environmental hazard. A number of them cook with firewood. They have history of um, either living with somebody that smokes and the likes. And the number of them even come from a particular uh, community where there is a um, high level environmental pollution. So I see that a number of them are not aware of the risk factors um, that have been associated with cleft lip and palate condition. Also, a number of them know little or nothing about the treatment option that is available. As such, you see um, some of them coming at uh, advanced age, an adult of 30, 35 years old coming for cleft uh, treatment because they never knew anything could be done about it. Also, another critical challenge facing this population is poverty. A number of them are from low socioeconomic background. As such, access to basic health care is a challenge, especially during pregnancy. A number of them visit a uh, traditional maternity home where they're given all kinds of uh, things, concussion and the rest of it, which have been associated uh, also with cleft lip and palate formation. Another major challenge facing this uh, population is low societal and cultural acceptance of the condition. Number of society uh, uh, associates this condition with um, either God, the gods are punishing the parents or are hungry with them. And because of this poor societal acceptance of the condition, the parents don't want to show their children uh, to anybody. They don't want to seek help. Some of these children uh, are poorly taken care of and all sorts of things like that. Uh, happen to them. So what can be done about them? First, we need to increase the level of awareness. We need to create awareness to these um, peculiar um, uh, society so that they can know what and what can be done to prevent cleft lip and palate uh, formation. What environmental factors need to be modified to reduce the incidence of cleft lip and palate condition? We also need to increase the level of awareness to educate them on the option of treatment that is available. A cleft lip and palate condition can be treated and these children can live like every other normal children. This same awareness would need to be extended to the chiefs, the traditional ruler, um, so that they can know that it's not the gods that is punishing the, uh, the parent, okay? And that these conditions are things that can be treated. There's a, so there's a solution to uh, this uh, situation. Okay, our government also needs to do more in ensuring that there's basic health access for every pregnant woman. Our primary health care center needs to be functional. They need to be accessible to this poor population, at least the pregnant women, so that they can have access to good health care, health advice while they are pregnant. I believe this will go a long way in reducing the incidence of cleft lip and palate in our various community. Thank you very much.